Hello, my princess and gentlemen. I hope you are well, doing great, and enjoying your time. Our topic today is about animals groups. Are all of these animals the same? Here I have snake, butterfly, bird, frog, panda, and swan. Are all the same? This butterfly can fly, but this panda can fly? No. Okay, this frog can swim, but this bird can swim? No, so they are not the same. I have living things. I have three types of living things, as you know, the humans and animals and plants. Animals include humans, okay? We are going to talk about today about animals. The animals are divided into two groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. The first thing is invertebrates, or animals without a backbone or bony skeleton. They don't have bones inside their bodies, as you have. Animals, invertebrates, animals like insects, like butterflies, worms, starfish, jellyfish, and octopus. The, the backbone inside the body support the body movement. So these animals have a free movement. They can move each, every part in their body. Let's see this octopus, how they can move. It's gonna be cool. you see that? How this no. octopus can you escape know? from oh, this a very small opening. Wow, it's so big. As you can see, wow. Just, we don't have bones inside his body. Wow, oh my God. It's so small opening, so tight. He can move each he and every part just, in his body. Uh, working his way through. I'm dead serious. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's popping. Look at that. He's popping through. Yeah. Would you like to see the alley? Yeah. Yeah. Alley. Can you see? Wow. Oh my god. He's squeezing. Yes. Yeah. His nose. He's just all the way through it now. Except for, oh, just, just his nose, yeah. Wow, he did it. Oh my god. So, the invertebrates have a free movement. The invertebrates. Our topic today is about vertebrates. Vertebrates or animals have a backbone or bony skeleton like man. Yes, the human are vertebrates because they have skeleton system inside their bodies. The function of skeleton system, that the function of bones inside your body, it gives the body its shape. Yes, I have a definite shape. All the vertebrates have a definite shape in their bodies allows movement, a definite movement. I cannot move each and every part in my body. And protect internal organs. If you had an accident, you have your skeleton system to protect you. Vertebrates, ha, that's what I mean. The skeleton system inside your body. Yes, here I have horse. The horse is vertebrate, so he has a skeleton system or a um, supportive system in his body. So this a horse. Frog. Yes, 
strong is vertebrate have skeleton system in the body. Here I have snake. Have do you know that the snake have skeleton system in the body? Wow! Oh my God! Here a bird have skeleton system in his body. And fish. Yes. The fish that you eat has skeleton system inside her body. This a five picture with a five groups. Let's see. Here I have the living things. We are going to talk about the animals of the living things. I have animals and plants. So the animals, the animals are divided into vertebrates and invertebrates. We are going to talk about vertebrates. The vertebrates are divided into five groups. Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Okay. Okay. Another division. Here I have vertebrates. It's also divided into two groups. Warm-blooded and cold-blooded. What is the meaning of warm-blooded or cold one? Let's see. The warm-blooded animal, in the animals, the ability to maintain a constant internal temperature regardless of the environmental temperature. What that mean? That mean that warm-blooded animals have a constant internal temperature. Their internal temperature don't change at all. When the weather is hot, they have a constant temperature. When a hot weather, they also have a constant internal temperature. They don't change their temperature like us, like human. Our body temperature is almost 37 Celsius. Yes, so in the winter, our body's temperature is 37 Celsius. In the uh, summer, our body temperature is 37 Celsius. So, warm-blooded animals don't change their temperature. What about, yes, as a birds and mammals? We have two groups are warm-blooded, the mammals and birds. What about cold-blooded? Here we have the cold-blooded animals which change their internal temperature. They usually have about the same temperature as their movement, their environments are. So the cold-blooded animals change their temperature according to their environment. So in the winter, the weather is so cold, so they change their internal temperature to be cold, to be the same as their environment. So what about the summer? The summer, the weather in the summer is so hot. So the cold-blooded animals change their body temperature to be so hot, as same as their environment. So the cold blooded can change their temperature. Like fish are cold blooded, reptiles and amphibians. Okay, we will talk more about it now. The first group we have today is mammals. Wow. Humans are mammals. The mammals have a specific features. Any animal that have these features, so I will put it under the mammals groups. So the first feature is have hair or fur that cover their skin. So any animal that have hair or fur that cover their skin, so it's a mammal, like here the dog. Can you see the hair? His hair, wow, so beautiful, yes. Okay, as the cow, yes, the cow tail is hair. The, ma the man or human or the girl, 
So we have a hair. Yes, I have a hair on my head. Okay. Live on land or in water? Yes, we are living on land. The dog live on land. The cow, the same. Have four legs. We have two legs and two hands. But because we are human. But we have four limbs. The cow here have four legs. The dog, the cat, the horse. Yes, and many other mammals. Give birth to live babies which drink their mother's milk. Yes, as the give birth, the mammals give birth. So the female of the animals um, become pregnant and then give birth to live babies and then feed their babies with milk. Okay, as you know, the have lungs and need air to breathe. Do you remember? Yes, mammals have lungs and breathe air. Are warm blooded? Yes, the mammals are warm blooded because they don't change their body temperature. They have a constant body temperature. So any animal that has all of these features, so he is mammals. Like this horse. Let's see together. This horse has um, internal backbone. Okay, so I wanted to know if it's a mammal or not. So the horse give birth and feed their babies with milk. Okay, the horse have lungs and breathe air. The horse have four legs. The horse is a warm blooded animals. Uh -huh. What the horse are, uh, is live on land. So the horse is mammal. Let's see here, the dog. Can you see here the skeleton system inside the dog? The dog, the dog have hair or fur uh, uh, that cover the skin. Have lungs, give purse, feed babies with milk. Um, four legs, live on land, warm blooded, so he is a mammal. Can you see the line is a mammal because it, the female line give birth and feed their babies with milk. The cat is a mammal. Polar bear. Wow, monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Okay. Now I have whale, shark, and seals. What do you think? They, they are live under the water. But I want to know if they are mammals or not. So I will see their features. They have long. Okay. Uh, they give birth and feed their babies with milk. Okay. They are warm blooded. They have hair that cover their skin in, in some areas, in some areas on their skin. Uh-huh. But they don't have legs. Yes, they don't have legs because they, they live underwater. So they have to have fins. So they can swim. Shark and whales and seals, they are mammals because they have all the features of the mammals. Oh my God. Yes, they are mammals that live under the water. Shark, dolphin and seals, they are not fish. They are mammals. But, Bats are flying mammals. Why they are flying mammals? Because have lungs, breathe air, give birth and feed their babies with milk, have four legs, but here have two legs, have two legs and wings because they can fly. 
uh -huh. what else they live on the land have heard the cover his skin and warm blooded wow so bad is mammal mammal as you can see here the fur the fur of the panda the fur of the panda so the panda's mammals here they feed like your mom feeds you with the milk this animal they are a warm blooded when it's a summer season they have a constant temperature when it's a winter season they have a constant temperature the next group that we have is birds wow the birds birds have feather unique to birds only birds have feathers to cover their skin wings and a beak have two legs as you can see have two legs lay egg don't give birth just lay egg to have a baby also have lungs to breathe and they are a worm blooded animal they don't change their temperature according to environmental condition no they have a constant internal temperature can you see here wow they have a very colorful beautiful oh my god thanks god for your creatures so they are um, they have a different color a different skin color that the uh, feather covers their skin as you can see here they have wings to fly yes they have big we have a many more types of birds as you know that the bird lay egg to have a baby lay egg to have a baby and then the this egg hatch to give us a, a baby bird the penguin uh -huh. why i'm talking about penguin in the birds because penguin is a bird yes a penguin is a bird but instead of they have wings to fly they have flippers to swim because they are left under the water yes they are birds that live under the water that they can swim they don't have wings but they have flippers to swim okay the birds the birds has uh, feathers the birds lay it to have a baby or have youngs or have offsprings the birds are warm blooded animals because in the summer they have a constant internal temperature and in the winter also they have a constant internal temperature okay what about fish wow the fish fish have scales and fins the scales that cover their body as you can see here the scales that the part that your mommy clean out of the fish that we eat the scales to protect their bodies and fins to swim under the water sure the fish live under the water the fish lay many eggs in the water fish don't give birth the fish lay eggs to have youngs or have offsprings have gills as you know to breathe under water are cold blooded animals what is the meaning of cold blooded animals they change their internal body temperature according to the environmental condition or environmental temperature as you can see here the fish have scales that cover their bodies sure the fish have fins to swim because they are live under the water they lay it to have offspring they have gills to breathe under the water and they are called the blooded animals here can you see this egg 
many, many, many hundreds under the water to have of a spring. Yes, can you see this a colorful scale that cover their scans? Yes. Let's see this video. Oh my God. It's another world under the woods. It's a very beautiful attractive world. Can you see here the scales that cover the skin? Yes, it's so hard to protect for the protection. There are many, many, many fish because they lay it, many it. Wow, they have very different beautiful colors. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.